this is Mateo from ProFlamenco. Welcome to my class. In today's lesson, I would like to show you uh, uh, two uh, flamenco guitar sevillanas, so two sevillanas on flamenco guitar solo, uh, which is a very popular flamenco palo. And uh, I've already made uh, one lesson about the sevillanas, about the proper rhythm, about the proper structure, about the names of the specific parts of the sevillanas. You can find the link in the description below and today I would like to show you uh, the two next Sevillanas in A minor and in uh, E3 Janky, okay? So if you want to study together with me, please take your guitar, focus and let's continue together. Let's start! Okay, so we can start in the A minor. Now, the first of all, the introduction, the rhythm introduction. The salida. And now the copla, so the main melody. Okay, and this Sevillana, so this copla, okay, you repeat the main melody, you repeat all together three times, okay? So first of all, you play the introduction, then you play the salida, and later on, you play three times the copla, okay? So the main melody. Now, I would like to show you how does the whole cycle of this repeated three coplas so the whole Sevillana in the minor, how does it sound, okay? A little bit faster. I will play correctly everything, the introduction, the salita and the copla repeated three times as it is played in traditional flamenco music, okay? So let's see together with me. Okay, so at the end, as you repeat the, co the copla for the, f uh, for the third time, okay, so the first repetition, second repetition, and the third one, at the end, okay, so at the end this is, okay, because normally you play, and you play, 
play again. But as you repeat this the third time, so at the end, at the end of the Seviana, at the end of the proper structure, you play something like this. Okay, so now is the time for the Seviana in E region. Okay, the same way. I would like to show you first of all introduction, then the salida, and at the end the copla, and later on the whole seviana, so the copla repeated three times. Let's start with the introduction. Now the salida. And now the copla, so the main melody. Now you repeat this copla three times, okay? But at the end, uh, as you repeat the third time, then at the end of the copla is, is the strum on one, okay? Okay, so now I would like to play the whole Seviana in E region for you a little bit faster. So this will be introduction, salida, and then the copla repeated three times, okay? So let's see how does it sound properly, okay? So the whole Seviana in E Phrygian in the very traditional flamenco style. Let's start. Okay, so this is how the whole Seviana in E Phrygian sounds. So the traditional flamenco guitar solo uh, Seviana in E Phrygian. Okay, so the introduction, salida and copla repeated three times. Okay, so basically that's it. Well done, good job, congratulations. I hope that everything is clear for you. Uh, everything that concerns these two Sevianas in A minor and E Phrygian. I hope that you figure out everything properly and perfectly together with me and together with the tabs uh, that you see in the right bottom corner. But if you have any questions to me, do not hesitate and please ask in the comment. I will answer all of them for sure. Uh, I would like to thank you very much for your presence and thank you very much for your watching. If you have enjoyed my lesson, please give a like, comment or share my video with your friends. 
And if you are interested in flamenco guitar lessons, in Spanish guitar lessons, do not forget to subscribe to my channel because I will be posting some cool flamenco guitar lessons, Spanish guitar lessons regularly for you. I also invite you to my social media, all the links you can find in the description below. Uh, I also invite you to my Patreon page where you can find some cool exclusive content for you, PDF with tabs, sheet music and some other things. Uh, so uh, yeah, check it out for sure. And uh, once again, thank you very much for your presence and thank you very much for your watching. And I hope that we see you in the next lesson. Goodbye. Thanks.